I will be recording this again now we will be uh, uploading this video so that next time we will you will have a you have your mutanta chance to review it no have I given you the PowerPoint already para sa tanan? Anyway, sige, wala mo to bag. Good afternoon everyone, no? Uh welcome sa atong semifinals. We will tackle the topics of learning in the area of psychology. Uh, props to OpenStax College for the references that we are using. These are free PowerPoint presentations. No, uh, they let us use it. So, uh, props to them, OpenStax College. Okay. So learning. Okay. So uh, there are there are examples examples here. No, nga mga kakoan, ma, uh, Introduction na to, uh, loggerhead, sea turtle hatchlings are born knowing how to find the ocean and how to swim. No. The thing is, unlike unlike sea turtles, humans must learn how to swim and surf. No. And okay, so as humans, we pride ourselves with the ability to learn. Modo na, modo na ng prime nga, kuha na to, uh, edge na to from other animals is that pas pas na learn what processor processes are at work as we come to know what we know no okay so unlearned behaviors we have this thing called unlearned behaviors these are what we call instincts and reflexes unlearned meaning wala ni mo na tunan na anadaan sa imuha okay instincts and uh, reflexes. No? Instincts and re reflexes are innate behavior that organisms are born with. You're born with it. Gipanganaka with those things, with those butanta unlearned behaviors. They help organisms adapt to their environment. No? Uh, reflexes, motor and neural reactions to specific stimulus. Uh, it's simpler than instinct. For example, the grasping instincts a baby the the sucking reflex no so those are reflexes no it involves activity of specific body parts involve primitive centers of the central nervous system no especially uh example the spinal cord and the medulla no uh, example would be human bo human babies are born with a sucking reflex anything that you put nimo sa mouth sa baby yang gina Gina suck. So, because how would you teach a baby how to drink milk, right? And so, natay kita wag sucking reflex. So, that automatic na nanya imnon. And we have instincts, no? Behaviors triggered by a broader range of events. Aging, change of season. It's more complex than reflexes, no? It involves the movement of the, of the organism as a whole, such as sexual activity, migration, no? And even affective nga a state such as uh, aggression and the likes no it involves higher brain centers so so with that given not a reflex and instincts these are unlearned behavior now let's go to the concept of learning at least naklaro nato tong unlearned behavior those are the those are the type of behavior nga mahimong uh, foundation sa atong concept sa learning okay so what is learning learning uh, also helps organisms adapt to the environment but learned behaviors involve change and experiences so mo na siyang dua ka concept sa learning ha it involves change and experience so the definition of learning is actually a relatively permanent change in behavior or knowledge that result from experience involves acquiring skills and knowledge through experience no it involves conscious and unconscious unconscious process in terms uh, sa tao no uh, we have associative learning no when an organism makes connections between two stimuli or events that occurs together in the environment we have associative learning such as when we learn nga kumuring ang bell tingkaon na so that's associative learning no there are many approaches to learning. We will look at 
approaches that are part of behaviorism. No? So, if my remember ninyo ang behaviorism, these are about the rewards and punishment that uh, actually compels a being or an individual no? towards a certain uh, behavioral pattern. So, natay tulo katanaon diri. Classical, operant, operant, and observational. Classical conditioning under Ivan Pavlov. No, Pavlov is a what is a Russian nga uh, physiolo uh, physiologist. No, no. So, yahang concept is on classical conditioning. No, uh, dogs were his condition nga condition nga uh, hayop. So what did he do, no? So na siya gitawag nga UCS, unconditioned stimulus. Ang unconditioned stimulus food. So reflexive response food. Ang iro tagaan ni mag food. Of course, no mag or pakito ni mag food, maglaway gina siya or gusto gina siya mo sa food. And we have the unconditioned response, a unnatural unlearned reaction to a stimulus. Salivation where is it? Salivation in response to food. No, and so just to just to make things quite clear, you have the UCS unconditioned stimulus, and you have the UCR the unconditioned response, and then you have the neutral stimulus. No, so wala gid wala gina siya labot sa the whole thing, but it becomes the connecting dot. And in this in this research, in this experiment with Pavlov, it's the it's the bell. No? So, unsa ni siya? Ito ta ha? Muna siya ang experiment ni ni Pavlov. The dog salivates. No? So, it's unconditioned nga response to unconditioned nga stimulus. No? So, natay gitawag nga the bell. So, every time they feed the dog, they ring the bell. Every time they present the dog with the food, they ring the bell. Up to the point na the bell causes na salivation. So, the bell, they feed the dog and then they ring the bell. Every time nga mo ring na ang bell, ang dog would actually make the association that if nanay bell, nanay food. And so, nan, nanay na pair nga, nga factors diri. And so, the bell causes the salivation, which is the condition nga stimulus. Okay. Gets na to? No? So, in many ways, this is applicable sa atua. When, when we see our mother, it, it actually elicits a feeling of comfort. When we hear the bell, gutumun ta, or when we see that it's already 12 o'clock, gutumun kagalit because it's actually what an association between the food and kana imuhang response. Na ay uban cases nga ang bata mahadlok sa pakitan og bunal but it, ay og bakos it's not actually the bakos it's actually the pain if bunalan sila and so that's classical conditioning a higher order conditioning an established condition stimulus is paired with a new neutral stimulus no second order stimulus so that eventually the new stimulus also elicits condition response without the initial condition stimulus being presented no, so, na higher order ri, electric can opener eh, plus food equals masalivate ang cat. No? So, squeaky cabinet plus electric can opener magsalivate na ang cat. Hantod sa point nga mo, open lang ang cabinet, magsalivate na ang cat. This, ha this happens when nakay pet nga manok. Ang manok nga hiniktan, uh, scheduled na ilang pakaon. Buntag and hapon alas 4 alas 5 and so labi na katong mga papa nga nay mga manok nga pangsabong no so what they do is of course the 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 site of the owner is actually a a UCS no and condition stimulus kay kabalo sila kung na ang owner na ay pagkaon and so magalinga sa ang ero so na ay response from the from the ang ero na noon ang manok and so uh, ang mahitabo po during the time nga magpakaon ang amo na ay usay mo tingog ang lata nga butanganan sa feeds and so to the point nga ang tingog sa lata even if wala ang amo dito would actually elicit the same response gikan sa manok 
Okay, so general processes in classical conditioning, we have acquisition, the initial period of learning when an organism learns to connect a neutral stimulus and unconditioned stimulus. No? So, na-acquire na, na nimo, na-connect na nimo ang dots, and so naka-learn na ka. And then, then we have extinction. May extinct ang, ang acquired nga learning. Decrease in the condition response. No? If the food stops being presented with the sound of the bell, then eventually the dog will stop responding to the bell. So, example. Ino kasi yung parents nga, I'll give you 100 pesos for every exam nga ma-perfect na mo. And so, with every exam, with every exam score nga dako, you get a reward, right? And so, or rather, every time mo squila ka, sige fine, let's make it simple. Every time mo squila ka, tagaang kagbalon. And so, you have you acquire the, the idea that school would eventually give you reward, right? You're going to school. And so, it so happened nga, wala na nakatag si mama og balon. And the thing is, what happens is that unsa naman di na kaganaan mo adto sa school kay walay balon but it's not, not actually related no ang balon and pag sa school but wala gay ma extinct ang ma extinct ang behavior no ma extinct ang acquired nga learning no and then we have spontaneous recovery mukalit og balik ang uh, ang response following a rest period Mo pudi siyang, actually, mo pudi siya atong ginabuhat sa mga students. No? Sa inyo ha, no, natay spontaneous recovery sa inyo. No? Dili na ma-exam, diritso, diritso da yun. Muna siyang ginakover pa ng topics and then it would require some time nga ayaw mag-exam to learn, it to, to see if nabigyan na learn. No? Okay. Now let's, uh, let's skip that one. Organisms need to be uh, need to be able to distinguish between different stimuli in order to respond appropriately. So nata stimulus discrimination. Ang mga animals wala ani, no? Ang um, rather ang um, maglisod sila discriminate between stimulus. The dog can discriminate between specific bell sounds. No, medyo bright maning ero, no? Uh, that does not signal food, no? Uh, but Actually, ang pinakakusog sa discrimination would be the human beings. We know how to discriminate accurately. No, Higher order animals can actually uh, discriminate very well. Pero lower order animals, maglisod sila og discriminate. No? So, stimulus generalization. When an organism demonstrates the condition response to stimuli that are similar to the condition stimulus. If an individual learns to dislike a specific spider, they will usually then dislike all spiders. No, it actually happens with phobic disorder. That when a person uh, is uh, butanta, triggered yahang irrational fear by a certain object, then all the objects nga parihas anang a category would most likely follow. No nga dili siya ganan. For example, ero. No, for example, uh, na kay phobia sa ero. What happens is that although gipakag isa ra ka ero or gigukod kag isa ka ero, the idea there is that you would you would be afraid of all types of dogs regardless of size and color and breed, no? And habituation, learning not to respond to a stimuli that is presented repeatedly without change. As a stimulus is repeated, we learn not to focus our attention on it. Naanad na ka, no? Muna na siya, and so you you do not what? You do not respond na to the stimulus. Kay naanad naman ka. So inana. Same good sa mga bata nga uh, for example, mga bata nga sorry for the ex bad example ha. Mga bata nga abused, no? To the point there is a point where in these children actually doesn't care anymore kung unsa ang kung unsa ang giribuhat sa ila or say gi sakit ng istorya sa ila they actually become insensitive to it and so di na sila mo respond so that's uh, uh, under behaviorism we have JB Watson used the principle of classical condi conditioning in the study of human emotion he believed that all behavior could be studied as a stimulus response reaction diri siya na sayo because human beings listen you kayo ang namang good uh, part 
the where we cogit uh, where we use cognition no so lisod ka yung stimulus response ng reaction he believed that the principles of classical conditioning could be used to condition human emotions no nagi siya little albert experiment if you're not familiar with little albert no kanay so so gi present si little albert it's a baby the picture here no uh, neutral stimuli rabbit dog cotton wool and a white rat now watson then paired this with a very loud sound every time little albert touched the stimulus that caused him to feel fear so nanata emotion unsa iyahang unconditioned nga stimulus nata new ay neutral stimuli no nata kani muni stimuli it doesn't elicit anything at all sa bata. Rabbit, dog, cotton wool, and a white rat. But then, natay na siya gi-introduce nga gi-introduce nga sound. No? So, iyan gi-condition that this sound, makuratan si Little Albert, and he would be afraid whenever iyan yung tandungon ng mga butang. After repeating pairings, Little Albert became fearful of the stimulus alone, such as the white nga rabbit. So, nahadlok na si Little Albert, Albert even if walay gibuhat nga harm ang kaning neutral stimuli sa iya. Ha? Because na-associate na niya ang neutral stimuli, ma-associate niya sa iyang feelings of fear. So, inana. Then, we have operant conditioning. Operant conditioning from the term operant we operate in the environment to get what we want no so operant conditioning is a theory proposed by bf skinner no an op in operant conditioning organisms learn to associate a behavior and its consequences no not tagitawag reinforcement which is the reward and the punishment based on the law of effect pleasant consequence desired results gives behavior is more likely to occur again unpleasant consequence or undesired result it gives behavior is likely to occur again so you did something good and then you you get the desired the desire that you wanted and so most likely the behavior is likely to occur again no and if nakai unpleasant consequence less likely ang behavior for example nag 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 uh Nagkating class ka, nasakpan ka sa yung parents, and so ikasaban ka. So, undesired result, the behavior is likely to occur again. But if you had the desired result, the behavior is more likely to occur again. No? So, medyo simplistic ang iyang view sa, sa, kuana to, sa human behavior. No? When we show up to work, that's the behavior, we get paid. No? So, we continue to show up to work. So, inana ka simple. Skinner conducted experiments mainly with rats and pigeons to determine how learning occurs through operant conditioning. No? So, natay terminology. So, natay positive reinforcement to add something. Negative reinforcement to take away something. No? So, reinforcement increasing the behavior. Punishment decreasing the behavior. Okay. So, natay pa positive reinforcement. That means I give you something para mo padayan mo increase ang behavior. For example, mag musulod ka sa klase, I'll give you extra extra baon, extra allowance. So that's increasing the behavior. Para mas para mas musulod ka sa klase. Now, if dili ka musulod sa klase, mag cutting classes ka, nakain natay negative reinforcement. And so, I take away something. I take away your balon, your baon or the internet or the password sa Wi-Fi, no? So so that musquila kag padayon so it still increases the behavior punishment is actually decreasing the behavior muna siyang sa atong terminology sa ato asa culturally bunala ng bata no so we have the skinner box no, to study operant conditioning skinner place animals inside an operant conditioning chamber skinner box no containing a lever that was when pressed causes food to be dispensed as a reward so if ang lever if ma press ni sila ga ang food no, ang food mo dispense siya as a reward. And so, that's the thing with it. No. So, that uh, I've already discussed this. No? Wala, napay. Napay ni Sulud. 
anyway so punishment we have positive punishment added to decrease negative punishment is removed to decrease the likelihood of a behavior for sa, sa context sa western cultures mong good class it's actually uh, bawal ang bunala ng bata so sa ato adiri mong good is no bunalan good but anyway i think it's good for us no cultural man siya Shaping is a tool used in operant conditioning. In shaping, instead of rewarding only the target behavior, we reward the successive approximations of a target behavior. So, ang step-by-step -step ng process gina reward gya po nato sa sa operant conditioning. Ang step-by-step -step ng process no? used when teaching a complex chain of events. This is what's good with operant conditioning, because with every step, every step is considered a success. Towards, basta as long as it's going towards the direction of the butanta of the behavior, no, or uh, of the achieve, achieved nga state. Kana. Uh, reinforce any response that resembles the desired behavior. Then reinforce the response that more closely resembles the desired behavior. No. And then begin to reinforce the response that even more closely, so step by step, it siya, no, resembles the desired behavior to continue to do this until only the desired behavior is reinforced. So that. Okay, so primary and secondary reinforcement. Primary re reinforcers are uh, innate reinforcing qualities such as food, water, sleep, sex. And pleasure, the value of these reinforcers does not need to be learned. So, tagaanog food, tagag water, no? So, yes, sex, no? Even feelings of pleasure, right? So, that, for example, if you did a good job, massage, so feelings of pleasure or uh, that, no? And then, secondary reinforcement, we have praise, no? Linked with affection, and then money is also, is only reinforcing when it can be used to buy other things no and tokens no reinforcer that can be exchanged for other things so other schools na sila merit and demerit nga nga economy wherein these are tokens that you can exchange for other things if magkadaghan imong binuotan nga behavior na kay magkadaghan imong merit and these merits actually could be exchanged for things such as school supplies no Schools, mental institutions, prison usually use the token economy. No, and then we have the best way to teach a behavior is with positive reinforcement. Dao, according as uh, our reference. However, there are many ways that positive reinforcement can be administered. No, continuous reinforcement. No, and then we have the partial reinforcement. Does not get reinforced every time they display the desired behavior. They are reinforced intermittently. Okay, so that, and then we have fixed variable. You no, know, the number of response between reinforcement, or the amount of time between reinforcements, is set and unchanging. No, so this is actually on when you, when you give the reinforcement, the number of responses between reinforcement, or the amount of time between the reinforcement varies or changed. Okay, and then. We have the interval versus ratio. No, so sa interval the schedule is based on the time between reinforcement. Sa ratio the schedule the schedule is based on the number of responses between reinforcement. So, let's skip that. No, kani gambling. No, that's random reinforcement for those people. Uh, na adik og online games. That's actually random reinforcement, no? Wherein the more you play, dili siya sure that you get reinforced, but you actually increase the possibility that you are reinforced. Okay, sa mga online games, mga role-playing games, no? So we have observational learning. Okay, observational learning, learning by watching others, and then imitating. First, we have the model, the individual performing the imitated behavior. And then we have the, uh, for example, this one, the yoga students. No, Learn by observation as the yoga instructor demonstrates the correct 
stance and movement for her students. So, then I symbolic nga modeling, such as a TV, which is very poor nga modeling, ha? Anyway, social learning theory. Now, according to social learning theory, natay four steps in the modeling process. We have attention. We have we we should have focused on the model, and then we retain the behavior, retention. We retain. We remember what we observe, and then we reproduce the behavior. We perform, and then after that, the motivation. Okay, what dapat na motivation to want to copy the behavior. Okay, if napugos ra ka, you could reproduce it, but you could not reproduce it again and again. Or rather, you could not reproduce it well. But if you have the motivation, that's the reinforcement. And so you have the, you you want to copy the behavior more often. No, So vicarious reinforcement process where the observer sees the model rewarded, making the observer more likely to imitate the model's behavior. No, so sa katong example sa TV nga sa TV nga, nga example. So that's a vicarious reinforcement. The more children seeing a praise tang artista, no, uh, they look good and everybody loves them. So most likely gusto siya mo imitate sa behavior sa model because they also want to be loved and accepted, no? Vicarious punishment process when the observer sees the model punished, making the observer less likely to imitate the model's behavior. The same siya og processes opposite lang a pole. Okay? Banduras Bobodal experiment. Gibutang ang isa ka bata sa isa ka laboratory. And then, uh, naidal dito, the Bobodal, this one. No? That's the Bobodal. No? And then, uh, nisulod ang adult dito, gi, gi, gikulata niya ang dal. No? And then, nigawa siya sa laboratory. Nakita ang mga bata. And so, when when left alone with the dal, ilang gi-imitate ang behavior. And much more, they made their own butanta. They made their own uh, types of pagkulata sa dal. No? So, that. No. Can video games make us violent? Psychological researchers study this topic and suggest that there is a correlation between watching violence and aggression in children. Kana, that's very true. No, when when you model, mo, same language as modeling, right? It makes the child thinks that uh, hurting other people is normal. Nga mamusil with blood is normal. But actually, aggression is normal in children. But mulagi, uh, what we're trying to do is that we're not trying to diminish the aggression to children. What we want to do is we want these children to what to know how to use their aggression for a butangta purposeful nga purposeful nga situation, no, or some situation where they can get something out of it. They can get something good out of it. And so, we want to use the aggression. For example, in sports, in basketball, that's aggression used in the context of sport. No, But if wala lay, if wala sport, then aggression could be anything. Pwede ka mo akong plato dira, kuan o mangguba o things, or manumbag o tao. That's raw aggression. Nga wala na, wala na control. Okay? So that's it for this afternoon. Any questions?